So the last video that I did about Code Chef being better than Code Forces, I got a whopping 216 views. That's crazy. That's like way more than all the other views that I normally get when I go over problems. So I have a feeling that people just like to talk about competitive programming than actually than instead of actually watching other people how to solve them. But maybe that's just me. And that's just probably what I think. But yeah, because I have so many disagreed people, but actually a lot of people liked it. So, but some people disagree and say Code Force is better. So this time I'm going to play devil's ad advocate and explain why Code Force is, is better than Code Chef in these regards. Okay. So the re main reason why Code Force is now is better than Code Chef is if you look at the contests, they just have more contests per week. Like if you look at this, just this week, there was a contest. Uh, there's a division two contest on the 12th. Then after three days, there's a division. There's educational round on the 15th. And then after that, there was just a, there's another round of division three contest on the 16th. So all these, these, because there's more contests, you have more practice room. If you just participate in all these contests, then yeah, you're going to have a lot of practice. You're going to have pretty decent practice time. But um, yeah, compared to code chef, where if you go to code chef, they, they only have what they only have one monthly contest which is a long contest um to do it and then they have two sh short ones which is like the cook-off and then the lunch time which anyway yeah, th those are the only two or three contests that you have per month whereas on code forces you have way more you have like three in one week so that's why because there's more contests that's why it's better because you could have more leeway to practice but anyway another thing that why it code forces is better than code chef is this regard when you practice you could do a virtual contest so if i could just do if i want to simulate solve these problems again i just click on virtual con participation and try to solve resolve the problems again and when you click virtual participation resolve the problems again you'll figure out that um yeah if you re try to resolve the problems again you're going to be able to really um you you'll understand what your ranking is and what your standing is compared to other people, which actually helps you practice. Because in on Code Chef they don't have that; they don't have virtual contests, so you don't really know what your ranking is compared to other people until like after you do an actual contest, right? Like if you do a virtual contest, you actually could see what your ranking is, assuming that simulating, assuming that you did participate to it, and what your ranking would increase. So that's a good thing about Code Forces because of the virtual contests. Another good thing about Code Forces is that, um, compared to Code Chef, is that if you want to practice difficulty problems, it has a very good r correlation with your rating. So, like, if I go on my rating here, a thousand thirty-seven, that means that m that means that I have fifty percent chance of solving any problem with uh, about a thousand and thirty-seven. So, problems like a thousand one hundred to a thousand one hundred, there's a chance that I I could solve any of these problems pretty quickly very 50 percent chance of solving them very fast so that's a good good thing because you have a way to practice whereas on code chef you, the only way you could practice on code chef is just by um really just practicing by easy medium and hard if you look at this easy medium and hard and you don't really have like a correlation or one-to-one -one way to compare you what your rating is like my rating with on code chef is like 1516 right and i can't really compare that to what what number what i should actually practice to improve myself so that's that's kind of a reason why in this regard code force is better than code chef but other than that there's not much to it i mean they both have editorials they both have streamers that give out give out um explanations Actually, I think that um, in terms of Code Chef, Code Chef actually gives video editorials, which is actually pretty neat. Like if I go to um, here, they, yeah, they give out the Code Chef actually gives video editorials out here on YouTube, whereas Code Forces they only have the the streamers, the like the top comp competitors. They normally go over the problems with other YouTubers, whereas uh, Code Chef has actually video editorials. So in terms of that regard, I think. Code Force is not as good as Code Chef. But anyway, let me know in the comment section down below what you think on why Code Force is, is better than Code Chef. Okay? Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.